I live in a small Yorkshire village. The landscape was carved by ice and water and a community built up around it. The river made space for a path, which became a road, which soon got a railway running beside it. Paths crisscrossed the whole area though, pack horse tracks that used to take goods from place to place. The world was worked by the people who lived here and as their needs shifted, so did the things that they built. Building cities and industries and places is an incredibly common theme in games of all sorts. This is to be expected. These are the places we live, and the shape of them affects our lives. But in a lifetime of playing games, I'm not sure I've seen one that looks like the sort of places that I've actually lived in. Partly this is an America dominance thing, or maybe a technology thing. SimCity was simpler to program because it followed the blocky grids of most American cities. It wasn't exactly accurate, but it pointed in the direction of the real thing. But that's not what my cities look like, let alone my towns and villages. My expectation is that buildings will build up around landscapes that are twisted and complicated. The core of something will start where something useful is. A place with a bit of natural defence, a forest full of resources, a river it's easier to transport down. Once these places exist, people connect them, use them, build around them. Their weird personal goals, the people they want to work with, where their person who makes the best food is. Create the shapes of these places. I used to live in Brighton, once a fishing village. It exploded when people in London decided that clean salt water, that is not the Thames, was good for you. Why was Brighton the place that they built up? Well, it was straight down. It doesn't really have a proper river. It isn't easy to defend, but it was the right place for those people in that moment with that specific need. Games are actually really, really good at representing the ways this sort of decision gets made, and I'm always interested when something explores it. Victory points create perverse incentives to make weird shapes and maps. I got excited about Hamlet, and nervous, from the instant I saw its tiles. Sure, there's some hexagons here, but there's also triangles and rhomboids and weird shapes with too many sides. When I first saw a game set up and half played, I knew this was already looking more like places I knew, places I recognised. The more I played, the more I realised just how true this was. All the resources and buildings in the game are shared, as long as they're not on the board. If you want to chop some wood, you can, but don't expect it to be there next turn as someone may have built a plank factory by then. You can collect tiles to lay down, decide where they go, but you can't call dibs on anything. You use the thing, but you can't hold onto it. The game instead becomes about building routes, not just looking at the roads and pathways that scatter the board, though those do matter, but you have to move your own transport network to connect the things you want with the things that need them. These donkeys, they are not shared. My route is not your route. Initially, this is fine. A donkey in the central tile, which you'll start with, connects every tile to every other tile. So you just send workers out and have them do what you want and take what you want from wherever it is. But once people start building, laying new tiles down, that dictates the shape of your village and the shape of your game. This is not straightforward. Everyone has their own motivations. People may be trying to hide a vital processing plant down the edge of a long lane, so only they can reach it. Will others respond the same? Is there a way to make sure that there's a rival plant? Or will they start looking for other goods? Those refineries, those do belong to the first player that built them, but only in as much as they get to make fancier stuff there. Suddenly, the end of the lane doesn't look so good. What's the point in Gold Top Milk if nobody will make the journey out to get it? Hamlet is a gentle inroad to the sort of tricky shared play that, that those enormous and ridiculous splotter games get you. There's hints of roads and boats here, but there's not complex rules to learn, just complex maps to navigate. How do you make more money than others out of exactly the same tools? Almost all of the spaces have one simple function, but can you connect them up well? while also laying tiles that you can get interesting scores for. Can you get the big payouts from helping build the church that will turn your village from a hamlet to a village? Or do you just want to take everything to the market, sell it off and, you know, move on? This is a game that brings everybody right into the board. Every player watching every move every player makes. 
It's a joy to have a game of economics, tire laying and resource exchanging that has everyone looking at the centre of the table, not their own little two-dimensional fiefdom. It's a real shame they didn't make the tiles bigger and the graphics a little clearer. As while the rules are mostly simple, the tiles act as a bit of an obstacle instead of the aid to your memory that they should be. And when the joy is a whole table fascinated by this shared little village, it's a shame if people come out of it with back pain from hunching over to see the details. But Hamlet gave me what I asked for, what I saw in those weirdly shaped tiles, incredibly efficiently. It tells a story of a group of people coming together and building a home by accident. A landscape that is contorted by old decisions and past mistakes. But is where people live. This is the sort of place I live. Weird paths to nowhere. Inconvenient routes that make sense once you've seen the view or realise they were built out of spite. Cliffs that slam into woodland and make it impossible to go the way you hoped. The beauty and weirdness of nature and the odd choices that humans make when they forget they're a part of it. And I was just so delighted to see that on my table.